Yo, 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 my funky friends, welcome up to another episode, let's play Super Mario Sunshine. Last time we did the first half of Pianta Village, today we'll do the second, starting off with Piantas in Need. Now this is like, this level has the majority of the, um, 8 red coin, of the 30 coins, it has 8 of them, of like the blue coins, so, this guy's gonna say, for some reason, like, all the villages are trapped in that burning ooze, and he's gonna start crying, and, and like how they're like, Begging us to do it. I guess. I guess these guys didn't like know about like the, the fact that we got blamed for it or whatever. So basically, what we gotta do is uh, there are like these little um puzzles, puddles of like ooze around. Just basically, just have to clean them up and see if there's a guy underneath it. This level is really easy. Like it's kind of like an easier version of the, like the cleaning Sirena Beach one. Alright, come on. And then like all, all the big ones will give you a blue coin, but I'll I'll go get all those things like later because it kind of have a time limit, you know. I don't know why there are time limits on these things. Like like what's gonna like what would happen when if they run out of time or something? Okay, I think this one's got one. Like, you can kind of like see like the top of their heads, and I don't really understand this. How is it able to like bury people or like entire things into the ground? Doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, but whatever. So. Let's see what else we got. I think it's like the only like ooze level that takes place during the day. The other ones are all like during the night if you like pay attention. Like the Chomplets one and the Goopy Inferno one. Oh, let's see what else we got on here. Oh, I, I see two of them over here. Or just one. No, that's somebody who's actually out of the ground. There we go. There's another one. Come on, clean up. Number seven. All right. Here's number eight. I think nine is over there. Or this multiple. I can't really tell. No, that's not somebody. I thought that like this little thing or something. All right. Here's number nine. I think yeah. And then number ten is over there. I know where it is. And then they have the little guy. Like I said, the little ones aren't gonna give you a blue coin. And then I think right here. Yeah. There we go. Alright, there we go, all done. And you don't have to, like, talk to the mayor to stop the clock, you just have to, like, clean them all up. So, basically, every single, um, like, big one will give you a blue coin, so I'm just gonna go grab all those blue coins real quick. Alright, there's two. Three. Oh, we have 200 now. Oh, that guy throws you too, in addition to the blue coin, and they're like a little enemy guy right in there. Alright, run that way, five. Here, oh, this guy over here, six. I like the ones who are jumping are the ones who will give you one, like the adult ones. Alright, here's seven. Let's see, is this eight? Oh, here it is. Okay, so here's the, like, um, eighth one. Those guys all give you blue coins. Now we only have, um, five more blue coins in, in Pianta Village, and I know where all of them are. So that's good. So now we can just come like this, and we're just gonna go talk to the little mayor guy, you know. We... And then he'll give us our shine. I think this is the only time where we actually have to, like, walk the other way across the bridge. Interesting. Alright, come on, get back to it. One in. I'll spray you, there we go. And then he gives you another shine sprite. Because, I don't know, it gets me like every single time that these guys are, that like, they have shine sprites, I don't know. But anyway, there we go, that's shine sprite number 74. He. Okay, it's episode 7, so it should be no surprise with this one. This is the final Shadow Mario, well, it's kind of the final Shadow Mario level in the game. There's still the final boss thingy, but this is like the last main one, but whatever, so now he's cut, now, now he's a bit more difficult, he doesn't really have anywhere to go, but he like, but like, he like, he has like this trail behind him, which is kind of annoying, so he just, but, but like, he kind of stays at like level ground, and if you stay behind him, it won't even do anything, oh, he's coming over here now, Oh, those things! The freaking thing, they hate those things. Everybody hates them. 
I really hate enemies you can't kill. But since when are they way out here? This guy is going way too fast. Alright. Oh wait, there he is. Alright. So, uh, oh, dude. What? And why does Mario take so long to recover from getting hit by Shadow Mario anyways? Alright. Get back here. I'm gonna get, get you. Alright, there we go. Now I'm closing in on him. Oh, wow. He's already done. That's pretty sad. I think that was the shortest one. And I hate those things. Well, I, I, I want to have the r random camera angle and the... Yeah. And then Flood going crazy. Okay. Well, that was easy. I think I think that I don't think that took a minute. Oh, wait. I forgot about this. That's right. After you be in the fifth Shadow Mario level... Now we can go and I mean the seventh Shadow Mario level. Now we can go fight the final boss, which is right in there. And as you can see, everything's flooded because you know why not? And then they like just drops you off, kind of just right here, and it's like just go and fight it because like I think that's the only way to like get rid of all the water is just to go and fight them. But all right, I can jump on like this thing then. Use that to jump to this house, and now we can easily climb over here. So, I'm just going to go in this level real quick. And, uh, I guess I, I'm, I'm just going to, like, cut it, and then all the water will be down, okay? Okay! And there we go. As you can see, the water is down, and I just went in real quick, and I got the, I exited, and I had to go get the rock nuts. So, anyway, the Fluffy Festival Coin Hunt. Ooh, this is a good one. And this is a level that a lot of people think is hard, but I have a really good route that makes it so easy. Like, this is a level that a lot of people overcomplicate, so here's what you gotta do. Jump off. There's, I mean, I, I'll admit, the red coins in this level are actually very difficult to find, but if you know where they are, then it should be really easy, so just come over here. Next, what I want to do is just grab, like, this little M right there. Like, I, I have a really good route of, like, how to get all the blue coins, like, I mean, all the red coins, like, easily, so, after that, um, where's the opening? Which is the opening? This is it. Basically, just come like this, jump into it, then come through here, pound it, and come back up, and then we're gonna just go into that little exit over there. But that isn't the one I want to grab, I want to grab onto this one right here. Which you can just do like doing this and now come on to this little guy and now we're right here where I want to be okay making a better camera yeah this is like the exit I want to exit out of and all this stuff basically doing this stuff with enemies is basically what you have to do with like the goopy inferno the real way so there's number one number two is under this big pile I think there we go Number three is in that tree way over there. Like this kind of tall tree, like the one that goes at a slant. It's over in here. Uh, don't fall, Mario. Yeah, you can see it on like that far pedal right here. Make it, please. Thank you. There we go. Then, uh, I don't know. Some people have a lot of trouble with this one, so hopefully this will help anyone and give them like a fairly good route to do it in. Number four is in the grass somewhere around here. There it is. Then number five is in this like tree right here with all the fruit. Number six is in like this water thingy. Number six is right here. All right. Number seven is right here. Now this one's really hard to find. It took me a long time to find that. Actually, I think I had to look that one up. And then, now we're supposed to climb like the big tree in the middle, but that is really annoying to climb. So I figured out this much, much, much easier way of doing it. Just come to here. Come to this like branch right there. And now we can do like a triple jump or a spin jump plus flood to the branch, okay? Ah. Uh, that wasn't a good enough. Alright, this should make it, barely. Yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, it didn't. 
Oh, I actually, a better way is just to go and grab, like, the, uh, rocket nozzle that's on this tree. That'll make getting that lance, like, over there way easier. Let me go do that real quick. We just come like this in. Dang it, which one? It's level the, the rocket nozzle is right over here. Oh, yeah, there's also a blue bird over here. I'm gonna grab that little guy now, too. Right, that's one of the four blue coins that are left. Alright, where is it? There it is. Alright, I got the blue coin. There's where it is. And now we now let's go and uh, do like that. It's a lot easier with the rocket nozzle. I just remember that you have to like you have to have a really good like triple jump or spin jump to be able to do it with the hover nozzle. So just come like this. Okay, so just come like this. We we can do a dive since we're so high and there we go, top of the tree. And then the last word corn was way over there. We got it. And then this is just kind of mean, like, they put the shards for it way over there, like, just, what's up with that, I mean, why don't you put it in, like, a place where we can get it a bit better? I don't really understand that, that's kind of stupid, if you ask me, so. Basically, what we have to do is we have to use, like, these little, dang it, I missed them, but you have to use, like, these little fuzz guys to get across. And if you didn't want to do it that way, you can use, like, those clouds over there to climb up. Oh, dude. No, that's not the one I want. I want this guy, like, right here. There we go. Just kind of climb, turn around. So that when you jump off, you'll, like, be facing in the right direction. And you can go. Oh, and then they put, like, the hover nozzle right there for, like, no real reason. But anyway, there we go. Shine. Yeah, people make that way harder than it really is. Okay. Alright, so next up is I'm gonna do the 100 coins before I do like the other secret channel. What we wanna do is we just wanna go into the secret of Delfino underside, because that's one of the Yoshi, and I'll probably speed up like parts of this, because I'm gonna start off by going down here and getting like every single coin, so you will just speed that up. I mentioned it, but there are like lives right here. How are we intended to get them? Are we just supposed to go like that? Oh, oh, I guess like the tree will knock you right back on. Okay, then. Alright, there's blue coin number 28 in Piano Village. Alright, so jumping on a uh, jumping on a pokey will give you um three coins and then just eating them with Yoshi will give you one, so always remember to jump. No, get my- No, let me get my coins! Stupid bees! Alright, so anyway, that is blue coin number 29, and you guys ready to end it? Ground pound this guy to get the last yellow coin, and oh, and then the shine appears right there, which is really convenient for us. And then the last blue coin is right there too, so... 
That ends. All right, so that ends all the coin hunting in Pianta Village. And, oh, dude, let me just get this stuff. Thank you. And come on, make it. I miss. Oh, I think, dude, Yoshi's dying. No, Yoshi. I forgot to feed him. Alright, can we just get this? It's kind of in a weird spot. It's kind of hard to grab. Just There we go. Alright, so that clears out all the blue coins of Pianta Village and the 100 coins too. One more shine. Alright, yeah, I told you you could get up here with the hover nozzle. So anyway, remember what, back when like I got that blue coin for spraying the moon? And I said like... That's what you get for spraying the moon. I wonder, like, what do you think you get for spraying the sun? Well, it's time to find out. This is just really random. Like, why does this thing even appear? But anyway, there you go. There's the other shine. And, like, you can clearly see that that isn't even, like, close to the sun. If you look at this from another angle, I mean, it's not even, like, it's, it's not even really the sun you were spraying. It's just, like, I don't, even, I don't really understand. Same with, like, the moon. But whatever, there we go. We are totally done with Pianta Village now. And next time, it's time to start on... Next time, we'll start on the multitude of secret shines of um, Delfino Plaza and all the coins there, too. So, yeah. I thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye and take care.